Hi, this is Kevin with Let Me Tech You, and I'm back with another video on the AI uh, tool that had just been released um, probably for a little bit of while, um, a couple of weeks, maybe a month now that I'm aware of, but this tool can essentially help you become a better scripter, um, someone who um, better DevOps, Terraform, but I, I kind of want to focus more on the Terraform aspect of this video because there's a lot of people out there who have questions about terraform how to complete specific tasks complex tasks things like that and some people have difficulties learning certain ways whether it's um, hands-on um, book online youtube but there's this new tool called chat gpt and if you're not familiar open ai is an ai engine that allows um basically anyone who's looking to create content, um, all types of different industries can use these engines to basically aggregate data that's been um, compute, um, I, I don't even know the word to really put it, but basically they take these large data sets and they build engines that essentially are um, AI tools that give you answers to the questions that you have whether it's creating content, learning how to uh, write better, learning how to script, program, the list goes on. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go through a task of someone who's maybe new to Terraform and they're say using a platform such as Azure. And what we're gonna, I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go to Terraform's website. And I'm gonna go to the Azure provider. So when you're first learning um, about Terraform, there's a lot of documentation that you can kind of go through. And if I go back to their website here for a second, there's some tutorials here that you can kind of go through to kind of get a grasp on what some of the things you may encounter when using certain providers such as Azure, AWS, things like that. So let me take an example here and let me see if I can find a block of code. I want to find something. I want to see if there's like a way to, let's say, create infrastructure. So this is going to be, I'm trying to look for the CLI output of something. Well, you know what I can do? Let's do this. Go back here. Uh, let's go back. I'm going to take one of the examples from Azure's documentation. And I'm just gonna look for something called virtual machine. And if you don't, if you're not familiar with uh, Terraform, don't worry, I'm gonna kinda go over some of this here. But basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna copy all of this and I copy all of this here and let's say I'm someone new. I don't, I don't have any idea what this is doing. I found this script online. It said it's the problem. It can solve my problem, but you know what? I don't have anyone to reference this off of or ask a question to. So I come over to chat GPT and I say, Hey, uh, what does this Terraform script do? And I like to kind of, um, separate, my questions from maybe answer blocks or snippets of code. So I might do like a colon and then I'll paste in everything there. And then actually, I don't know if I'll be able to hit enter here if it'll actually take it. Yeah, it actually takes it. So if, as you can see here, this is saying this Terraform script and, and, and I'll fact check all this too. So what it's doing is it's going through telling us everything that this is doing and it looks like it's done here. So it says, Hey, this Terraform script creates a resource group in West Europe. So let's go find that and see if that's true. Okay. So we got Azure RM resource group, the, uh, the resource block name, and then where it's being located at. So then it says a subnet and a virtual machine in the Azure cloud. So let's see, we got a subnet there and then a virtual machine here. So we got our subnet and virtual machine getting created. 
the prefix variable is used to create a unique name for the various resources. So if we go and look at prefix, so we got var dot prefix. So this would be in your variable file. So if you're setting this up in a Terraform um, environment, you're gonna have some .tf files and one could be main.tf, one could be variables.tf and inside that variables.tf, you're gonna have variables and one of them is gonna be called prefix. So the prefix could be um, uh, like, you know, dev or prod, um, staging, stuff like that. So then if we go and the script also configures the VM with an Ubuntu operating system and set some basic network and authentication settings. So if we come up, we see we got canonical Ubuntu server 16.04. And then the script uses the Azure RM provider to create resources in Azure. And we are 100% correct that this uses the Azure RM provider because it's using Azure RM here. So now you're probably wondering, okay, so what does that do for someone like me who's maybe new or maybe someone that has uh, you know, experience with this? Well, if you're new to Terraform, this could actually help you break down a lot of the things that um, you may run into issues with as you're troubleshooting code or building scripts, because then you can, the great thing about chat GPT is you can continue to build off of this. So you can put something like, how would I add in, um, let's say, let's see here. We know that there's a subnet being created. Where was that? Okay, subnet. Um, change, let's say here. Let's say create two more subnets. Two more, or let's say add two more subnets. So add two more subnets that use the range 10. 0.3.0 0 slash 24 and 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 4 dot 0 slash 24. And then, so now what it's going to actually do is take our existing, um, uh, que uh, question here, and it's going to add two more subnets. And what we can do is instead of having to, um, it, I mean, if you're kind of new to Terraform, you can essentially take this, copy it in and paste it inside of, you know, here. So we can go Azure RM subnet. And then obviously this has internal one, internal two. So you might actually need to make sure also that the names aren't the same. So the great thing about this is that now, um, as you're starting to build this script, you can continue to ask questions um, about your current conversation. And that's the great thing about chat GPT is it understands as you're continuing to talk to it, what you're uh, you know, doing um, currently and what you wanted to do, um, next. So, you know, now, so, you know, for someone who might be experienced, let's say you have a script and let's take, um, let's find something. Let's say, you know what I want to get, how can I import? Let's say, let's say, let's say we want to import something. Let's go ahead and start a new thread. And how would I import an Azure resource into Terraform? And let's say an Azure virtual machine resource into Terraform. So this is a question that many people may have. So if you're currently using like a product like Azure, Azure, you might have existing resources that's already built. So with this tool, it'll already know like, hey, this is what you'll need to import your current changes. Now with this, you're also going to need to have this resource um, inside your uh, 
your, your script as well. So let's see if it actually outputs that. So in this example, Azure RM Virtual Machine is the name of the Terraform resource that you were importing. So let's go and say, what would be the, what would be an example of the, let's say Terraform resource to configure to import this resource in, if that makes sense. Let's see if it actually understands that. And so here's an example my, you might use. It's a resource, Azure RM Virtual Machine, MyVM. And as you can see up here, it actually uses MyVM. See, so I didn't even have to tell it that I, I was asking about import up here. It already knew. And he knew from here that, hey, I'm going to be using Azure RM Virtual Machine dot my, M, my VM. So then I can then essentially take this, copy it into my code. And down here, it gives you some uh, additional information on, on what you'll do after you, you get it in there and stuff like that. Because you'll want to run a Terraform um, plan just to see if there's going to be any changes. And you want to get it to the point where there's uh, no changes needed. So that means you got everything successfully imported. So that's just one way of um, actually being able to use uh, this chat GPT to get familiar with Terraform. You can ask it questions. You can get more information in regards to um, certain type of tasks that you're trying to do. The list goes on and on. Right now, it's in a currently it's in a free research preview right now. So anything you type in here is free. There's not you're not being charged any API charges. So if you can get your hands on something like this to test things out, get familiar with the tool. Um, I think it could be a real game changer in helping people um, complete projects faster get questions to issues answered faster, and also help them along in areas where they can't find um, the question or the answers to the question that they're asking through Google and stuff like that. So again, you know, hey, if you have any questions, drop me a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back with you with any questions I can answer. Again, like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing some more videos on various other ways of utilizing chat GPT and um, Thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time.